Hello teachers, this is Rinaldo po sa Gabos. Number 3, tutorials po tayo. Session 2. Yung first session po natin ay about Chinese Remainder Theorem. At ngayon po, ang pag-uusapan natin ay about linear congruences. Again, hindi po ako expert dito dahil hindi naman namin ito napag-aralan during my civil engineering year. So, let's talk about linear congruences. And we have this, A times X is congruent to B mod N. Where A, B, and N are integers such that N is greater than 0. And let C be equal to the GCF of A and N. Again, C is the GCF of A and N. Rule number 1. If C does not divide B, so kung hindi factor, si C ng ating remainder, the congruence has no solution. So, kung hindi madi-divide ang ating remainder ng ating GCF, the congruence has no solutions. On the other hand, if C divides B, then congruence has exactly C in congruence solution. So, nakadepende po sa GCF ng A and N at kung makaka-divide po ba ng ating remainder. So, yun po. Problem number one. What is the particular solution of 30x congruent to 18 mod 72? So, dito, ito po ang ating formula na gagamitin just like po sa ating first session. And we have this format. A minus A divided by B times B. Dito, A, ang A natin ay ang value before the symbol, congruence symbol. So, dito po, 30x. Samantalang ang B naman natin, mod B. So, after mod, yun po ang ating B, which is 72 naman po dito sa ating problem. So, kunin na po natin ang ating calculator. Mod 4. Then, input na po natin. Again, what is our A? We have 30x. So, yung x natin, di ba ito po ang values ng ating x? Isa po dito ang tamang sagot. So, isa-substitute po natin yan. So, trying letter A, 7 times 30. Pasensya na po sa sounds ng manok. Minus, kukopihin lang po natin, 7 times 30. Binaligtad lang po natin, although 30x po dito, pareho lang naman, para madali po natin ma-edit. Ito po. Then, divided by B, what is our B? It is 72. Times 72. Equal sign, the answer is 66. But, we are looking for 18. So, ito po, nanas then solve natin dito. Ito po ay ang remainder. So, ang remainder po ng 7 ay 66. Therefore, X na po siya. Hindi po siya ang ating hinahanap. Let's try 5. So, eliminated na po ang ating A para sa tamang sagot. So, 5. Ang sagot po ni 5 ay 6. But we are looking for 18. Eliminated. Letter C is 3, so papalitan lang po natin ang 3 para sa ating value ng A. Then equal sign, the answer is 18 and yes, siya po ang ating hinahanap dahil 18 nga po ang ating remainder. But we still have to check letter D para sigurado po tayo. And... Yes, the answer is letter C. Dahil 30, what we are looking for is 18. And there, the answer is letter C. So, ganun lang po. Problem number two. How many distinct incongruent solutions? So, andun po ito sa rule natin. Rule number two. Are there in, are there in 24x congruent to 52 mod 76? Ano nga po ang kukunin natin? So, we have these conditions. 
the formula and the condition. So, nakadepende po sa C, which is the GCF of A and N. Pukunin po natin ang GCF nila. So, naka-mode 4 po tayo dito. Mode 1 para bumalik po. And we are to solve for the GCD of 24 and 76, right? So, here, 24 divided by 6, we have 4. 76 divided by 19, we have 4. Therefore, the GCD of 24 and 76 is equal to 4. Dahil yun po yung nakapag-divide dito sa dalawa. So, the GCD is 4. And the remainder is 52, right? So, let's check. We have remainder 52. Kaya po ba siya ma-divide ng ating GCF, which is 4? The answer is yes. Kaya siyang ma-divide. Therefore, we have exactly C incongruent solutions. So what is our C? What is our GCF? We have 4. So the answer is letter A. So ganun lang po ang pag-analyze nito. Problem number 3. Which of the following has no integral solution? So recall, here is the formula and GCD po ulit ng A and N, nakadepende ang ating kasagutan. If the GCF of A and N does not divide B, wala po tayong solution. So, doon po tayo mag base. Okay, let's get our calculator and check the GCF. What is our A? We have 36. So, letter A po muna tayo. Para ma-check po natin kung sino po yung hindi makakapag-divide, 36 and 42. Okay? 42. So, 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Therefore, the GCF of 36 and 42 is 6. We have for 32 as our remainder for A and our GCF is 6. Therefore, 72 na divide niya, hindi po ito dahil meron po siya 6 distinct solutions or incongruent pareho lang po yun. So what about B? We have 28 over 75. Ayan. So what is our GCF? Our GCF is 1 dahil wala po silang common factor maliban sa 1. So, the GCF is 1 and yes, divisible naman ang 1 sa lahat. How about letter C, 32 and 44? So, we have 32 and 44. Nakakasunod po ba? 32 and 44. Dito po, Kinocomplete po natin si GCD. So, input po natin, we have 32 as A and N is 44. Di ba po, kahanapin natin si C, which is the GCD of or GCF of A and N. And natin is 44 equal sign. Ito po ang ating lowest term. Therefore, yung nakapag-divide po sa kanila, yun po ang ating GCF. 32 Divided by 8, we have 4. 44 divided by 11, we have 4. Therefore, the GCF of 32 and 44 is 4. Okay? And our remainder is, the remainder is 52, right? And the GCD is 4. Let's check. Ayun, the divide po. So, Meron po siya for incongruent solution. So, A, B, C, lahat po sila ay may incongruent solution. Ang hinahanap po natin ay yung no integral solution. So, dapat ito po yung hindi niya madidivide ang remainder. So, we have 21 and 27. 
mabilis na pagkuha ng GCF or GCB, ito na po yun. 21 over 27, kaya kaya naman po sana ng oral, pero pakita na po natin dito dahil meron naman tayong calculator. So we have 21 divided by 7, we have 3, 27 divided by 9, so 3, 3 po ang ating GCB. So 49 is the remainder and the GCB is 3. Ayan, hindi po siya hindi po siya whole number. Therefore, hindi niya madi-divide ang remainder. And this is the answer. That has no integral solution. C does not divide B. Congruence has no solution. Therefore, the answer is letter D. So, ganun lang po. Para sa ating problem number 3. Nakadepende po sa ating greatest common factor. Problem number four, which of the following is the value of x if 5x is congruent to 5 mod 18? So, pareho lang po kanina, we will use our formula a minus a divided by b minus, divided by b times b rather, sorry. So, here, what is our a? By the way, mode four. What is our a? 17 so for letter A, 5x, so 17 times 5 minus 17 times 5. Then divided by B mod 18, therefore RB is equal to 18 times 18. Chachak lang po natin ulit kung sino yung makakasatisfy, then siya po ang value ng ating x. 13, so... Hindi, dahil we are looking for 5. 18. So, let's try 18. 18. And, hindi po. Walang remainder. Let's try 19. Okay. And, the answer is 5. Oh. Remainder 5 and remainder 5. Nagkatagpo po sila, so the answer is 19. But still, we have to check the last one para sure ball po tayo. 12 equal sign, remainder is 6. So, it's a no-no and the answer is letter C. So, this is all for our linear congruences. Hope meron po tayong strategy kahit pa paano na naituro and Mahalaga po dito ang prime factors, prime numbers, GCF, and LCM. So, ayan. May, sa mga susunod pa po natin tutorial, ay matatalakay po natin ang mga yan. By the way, we have our tutorial for the GCF and LCM already. Ililink na lang po natin. Teachers, thank you for watching. God bless po sa ating exam na malapit na malapit na. But no worries, marami pa po tayong pwede may view sa remaining days na yan. Kindly share para makatulog din po tayo sa ating kapwa takers. God bless everyone. Claiming LPT 2024.